hello, this is David Newman again, talking about the Orchestral Tools Instrumentation Series. Today we're just going to speak about the oboe and English horn. The oboe, I think, has a special place in all concert music, obviously. I mean, think of the beautiful oboe solo in the second movement of the Brahms Violin Concerto. But in film music, it much of the time denotes an inward emotional uh, it has an inward emotional quality. And there were, from the 30s on, there were terrific oboe players that sort of migrated to Hollywood. And again, I think it would be, when there was a particular oboe player at a particular studio or a particular composer that used it, uh, it was so important who the player was. In the 30s and 40s, a lot of the players were from Germany and Vienna and Eastern Europe. But as you move into the 70s and 80s, it becomes more of an American kind of, uh, the, the players become more mixed, American and European. Um, for me, there was an oboe player named John Clark who was actually a, a doubler, meaning he played saxophones and clarinet, but his real instrument was the oboe. And I and my film scores wrote a lot for him, but so did everyone everyone else that was writing um, in the late 70s and, and 80s. So let's delve a bit deeper into the oboe and English horn. The bodies of the oboe and the English horn are composed of three parts. The upper joint or head joint, the lower joint, and the bell, which contain the holes in the keys. The construction of the keys is extremely complicated compared to the flute. The upper joint leads into a small metal pipe, which is connected to the double reed mouthpiece. The two pieces of reed are so close together that barely a piece of paper can be placed between them. By taking the mouthpiece between the lips and blowing into it, the reeds start to vibrate against each other, which produces a tone. Oboe and English horn are by their very nature distinct solo instruments, and their sound is also said to be closest of all the instruments to the human voice. The oboe, due to its rich overtone spectrum within the orchestra, provides the tuning pitch A, according to which the whole orchestra tunes. Like the English horn, it is often used when a lyrical, longing, and intimate character is needed, as well as musical background of intimate nature images, which also is due to its legendary origin as a shepherd's instrument. In the ensemble of woodwinds, the oboe occupies the middle position, comparable to the second soprano, as it sounds particularly full in that range. Likewise, the English horn produces a similar full sound in its mezzo range. The range of the oboe is from B-flat 3 to G6, or B-flat 2 to G5, after the MIDI definition used in our sample instruments. The lower range of the English horn is from E3 to B5, or E2 to B4, after the MIDI definition used in our sampled instruments. In the lower register, the oboe sounds thick and heavy and can be played from pianissimo to forte. This is used mostly to fill up the woodwind ensemble. Solo lines in this range are rare and only used for music with a humorous character or to express scary colors. In contrast, the English horn sounds rather warm and full in the lower register, representing the typical sound which is preferred for expressive, lyrical, and sensitive music. Plain pianissimo is not possible here. The middle register of the oboe is very popular for solos because of its bright and powerful tone. The English horn, on the other hand, is mostly used as an extension of the oboe with a very versatile sound. 
Both instruments can play here from pianissimo to a full forte or fortissimo. The higher notes on the oboe have less volume and a lack of substance. Everything above C6 sounds really thin and is almost never used. On the English horn, this register sounds rather narrow and squeezed. Now, let's talk about the different playing techniques of the oboe family. The slight variation in pitch or volume of the vibrato is produced similarly to the flute by changing the lip position, diaphragm, and larynx. The typical sound of an oboe or English horn contains vibrato, which underlines the very, very expressive character of this instrument. By moving the tip of the tongue to the tip of the reed, single, double, and triple tonguing are possible. The double and triple versions are more difficult to perform, but allow for faster sequences of notes. On the oboe, the flutter tonguey is produced by using a rolled R to create a rapid tremolo. Performing half and whole tone trills is very easy, even in the high register up to E6. Despite the fact that the oboe is a monophonic instrument, we can produce more than one note at the same time with the technique called multiphonics. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please stay tuned for more.